today is one of those days. <coughs> so I'm a little sick today, but that didn't stop me. You know, I gotta do it for you guys. <coughs> oh shit, cover the lung real quick. So, today, uh, not really like a typical bodybuilding day. Uh, it was an upper body day, like upper body routine because I've missed the last two days because I've been sick. Uh, you guys can tell I'm still getting over it. I got a little like sinus stuff. Anyways, let's get to the video. So, I started with, um, and I normally do this whether I'm hitting uh, chest or not. So if I'm hitting chest, I normally warm up my back. I normally will do like, not heavy weight, I won't pull the whole rack, uh, but I will warm up like my back, my scapula, my upper back, just so that um, I feel more secure, more steady, right? More stable, just to warm up those muscles so they get a little bump, they can stay more flat, they can be more full. Um, I can understand my voice right now. It's like, I feel like my voice has changed over the last like, Anyways, you sound like a man now. Sound like <coughs> say what you man voice. Yeah. So okay. It's your chest. It's your chest. <coughs> I was like off of a lung. Um. So I started with just a lap pull down, typical. Um. Did this in sets of like probably 12 reps. Well, actually, I know it was 12 reps because I counted. Um. But you guys probably count too and be like, you counted wrong because I do count wrong sometimes. I always add one or like lose one. Anyways. So started with the pull down. Um. 12 reps. Two minute rest in between, just because I feel a little bit like under the weather. So catching my breath takes a little bit longer because I got the, the phlegm in my lungs. Anyways, um, second exercise, which is a chest supported row. And typically when I do these uh, rows uh, on the chest supported machine or wherever you guys are doing rows, I like to use different um, grips. Um, on this video, you guys might not have seen me switch to grip, but normally what I'll do is if I did four sets, which I did in this video, I did four sets, um, 10 reps. At, like every set, like first set, I'll take a certain grip. The next set, I'll take another grip. The next set, I'll take the other grip and I'll go back and forth. So normally it's like, you know, two sets each grip. Does that make sense what I'm saying? It does. Okay, yeah. Anyways, I just like to switch it up because I'm not doing this for like weight. I'm not doing this for anything more than just getting blood into the muscle and getting the pump. Um, <coughs> next exercise was a chest because that was like my focus, what I wanted to do. And I just did an incline press. And I've been doing a lot more incline presses than I have flat barbell bench presses. Um, only because my focus uh, for my chest and what I want to build the most in my chest is my upper chest. And you know, typically you hear people say, you know, you need to do more incline, less, less uh, flat, less decline if you want to get your upper chest. And I, I could agree to an extent, but also I've been doing more incline just because I feel better. Like I've been having like nagging shoulder pains and I noticed that when I do flat versus incline, incline feels better for me. So this allows me to keep going after my chest gains without hurting my shoulder more. So I don't necessarily agree that you need to do incline to get more upper chest. Um, although it has helped me in some cases, uh, I'm doing this strictly because I'm trying to avoid like tension that I feel when I do the lower, uh, the decline or the flat dollar bench press. So worked at the 315. Um, <coughs> Uh, and just 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 did what I could today because I'm trying to get uh, back into the swing of things. Um, following my chest exercise, you guys already know that every day is arm day, so I went straight to the barbell curls. I did strict curls and then I did cheek curls. In these two videos, I'm gonna do uh, separate videos dissecting both of these exercises more in detail, talking about the cheek curl and talking about the concentration strict curl with the barbell, just so you guys get more in, de in detail like what I'm thinking about while I'm doing this exercise. That'll be up on this channel um, later on during the week. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, but yeah, the, the workout was great for these two exercises though before I move on. Um, the cheek curl, I normally do this in like, I'll pick how many sets I wanna do. For example, today I did four sets and I never give myself a number of reps for the cheek curls. I don't say I'm gonna do 10 cheek curls or 15 cheek curls. I just do as many as I can. Um, before like I have to really really cheat and I start to feel my lower back or something like that. So for the cheat curls guys, pick a weight that you can't do strict very easily. Maybe like one or two reps you can do strict. Um, that's the way you're gonna do for your cheat curls. Um, and try to get to 10 reps. You guys, what you wanna do when you're doing this, just give you like a quick idea before these videos come out. It's a hip movement. So as you get to your, your thighs, you wanna think about dipping your hips back, like you're on top of a deadlift and just throwing your hips forward and just following with the momentum through. Um, and controlling it down. So that's what I'm doing when I'm doing these cheek curls. Concentration curls, I'm just keeping my elbows back. And I'm bringing the weight up as far as I can, get a good contraction, keep the elbows back. Um, don't swing the weight, don't use your hips. Keep it nice and strict, obviously, is why it's a strict curl. So next exercise, I did the uh, overhead barbell press. And I didn't work to more than just the plate here because, uh, like I mentioned, for the bench press, 
Um, I'm starting to have like a, like a nagging like right shoulder pain, which I gotta get worked out in other ways, but uh, I'm doing this uh, in a set rep fashion of five sets, and I'm doing just as many reps as I feel comfortable with. So normally I could like move around, you know, uh, 135 very easily, which I am doing in this video, um, but normally I would increase the weight. Today I didn't increase the weight much, I'm trying to stay like conservative again because of that shoulder thing. Um, but, uh, fuck bro. Don't put this in there. Oh, fuck it. Okay. Fuck it. I'm just tired, bro. No, but so the overhead press, I love it. I, I include it in my routines because of the upper chest thing, the upper chest development. Um, has been one of my, my biggest folks as far as like bodybuilding goes. And it's been getting better, and I love to see it get better. It makes me so happy. Thank you. Thank God. Because it takes forever. It takes forever. I have so many people come up to me and they'll be like, what do you do for upper chest? What do you do for upper chest? And it's funny because like, Three years ago, those same people would not have come up to me and asked me about upper chest, because my upper chest was like, whack. And this is my best advice I can give you guys. It takes time. It takes like trying different things, but honestly, like for the taller guys, um, I mean even the shorter guys, it just takes time. Like stay consistent, keep working at it. Um, try things you haven't tried, but if you're gonna try things you haven't tried, stick to it, right? A lot of people like get into like, okay, let me learn this exercise because I want to get my chest better and they do it but they only do it like like sporadically and they're not actually like sticking it or keeping it and like progressing with it so if you want to like uh, bring up a weak point pick something that you know okay so this is what it's gonna, this is gonna help me right let's say it's the incline press or you know a single arm press or something that you like someone said to try stick with it progress with it a couple months before you just like kick tell to kick rocks because that's when you truly start to see the progression. And that's how it's worked for me. It just takes more time, more consistency, and just sticking with it. So, hope you guys like this video. I hope you edited that shit right, because that looks stupid when I slapped my hand on the wall over here. You better not left that in. Um, I'm well, out, guys. What are they going to think about when you just said that? Whatever, bro. Just you Fuck better. it, dude. Fuck it. I uh, appreciate you guys. I love you guys. You guys are the shit. All the support. I love the, the support on the daily vlogs. I'm going to keep... No, shit. Wait. Take that back. I didn't say daily. It's not daily. Don't hold me to it. It's not daily. Not yet, till uh -huh. I get the hang of it. It's not daily, bro. It's not daily. I haven't even posted one today or yesterday. Not daily. Anyways, uh, but I like how you guys like the vlogs. I appreciate the support. There'll be a lot more coming. I do actually enjoy vlogging. It's not daily, but I will do my best to do it as much as, off as, much as often, as much as possible. You know what someone said in the comment section of mine? They were like, yo, bro, you should watch this video or watch these people like to learn how to speak more clearly to the camera. And the truth is, <coughs> Sometimes it's just, it's just difficult, man. It's difficult sometimes. And I like to just spitball shit. And that's just my style, and that's how I like to do it. So if you guys don't like it, uh, I'm probably not gonna go watch like a self-help how to talk thing. I'm just gonna like work through it with you guys and, and you know, we're getting better at this together, you know? I'm getting better at speaking on camera. You guys are getting better at building muscles, getting better biceps, all the good stuff. Picking up chicks, you know, all the good stuff. So I'm out, appreciate the support everywhere. Um, and yeah, that's it. Make sure you guys check out those other two videos for the concentration curl and the cheat curl. I'm out.